So, I was talking about how Islam sells the little blonde kids for extra, and the stupid wizards are like, yes, he likes it. And they go to Washington, and Washington's like, he did what? And then stupid United Nations is like, we'll allow it. Because between me and the United Nations, the only ones with any kind of religion are me and Boko Haram. Geneva ain't got a lick of religion. They're like, these jingle heads over here all agree. Give a damn what they agree about? Are they aware that like they're, what they're agreeing to is a, a matter of life and death? Like, <laughs> will get them killed? Boko Haram is supposed to be here to, to liberate the children from how ridiculous Washington is. Getting extra for the little blonde kids is just icing on the cake. Wall Street sends Washington an invoice and Washington's like, oh boy, zeros. He did what? No, you did it. Stupid. And then everybody else is like, well, I don't like it, but this is how the game is played these days. No, it's not. Two planes minus three towers. Trying to get yourselves killed? How are you going to pay for two planes minus three towers and little blonde kid ass? And if the little blonde kids cost extra and you're liquidating our population credit to pay down our deficit, how many Boko Haram is that for every blonde kid? Every blonde kid we lose, we get two Boko Haram? You guys are so stupid. You know, if dem democracy is not blanket immunity for whatever you did to get elected, but it, it might be arguably de democratic immunity for like somebody come tell you you got to sell a little blonde kids to get reelected. You punch them in the mouth and you go see about it. And you come back. That's the sort of thing. Nobody. I mean, you get reelected. I keep talking about how the KKK will will dive on the, the first opportunity to lose on our behalf cost us. I mean, their, their take is a fraction of a crumb of what it would have been worth for the rest of them not to do it. Like, we could negotiate, could have negotiated. Now you, you're forcing people's hand. Campaign funding committees acting like it's the... the irrefutable law of the land like police casinos already you're out of bounds and then you want to connect it to a hospital behind the privacy act for child sex slave operation be like oh it's democracy what are you gonna do it's uh, corporate prisons are illegal one in any democracy They're not covered geneva why don't you get back in your boat stupid it wouldn't matter what the jingle heads voted about Geneva's here to take us down because we did something terrible to JFK. I'm like, well, if it weren't for Saudi Arabia, that probably wouldn't have happened. Any I mean, G Geneva, uh, Korea? Things just keep getting worse and worse. You act like it's America's fault. Religion is a search for universal and eternal truth. It is, it is worth dying for, preferably you first. When I was a kid, the Taliban blew up the Buddha statues. And now China is half communist. How are we supposed to pay for two planes minus three towers, China? And little blonde kid ass? Forever? You're using the population of sub-Saharan Africa to leverage little blonde kid ass for two planes minus three towers? I can marry a Chinese girl. I can marry an Arab girl. A Turkish, a Iranian, Egyptian. I can't marry a Muslim girl. I'm not gonna have a bunch of Muslim in-laws act like we're affiliated. You're not gonna call us anti-Semitic. Like flog us with stolen technology and a false moral superiority with your Jews. Israeli Air Force, like, nobody testified. There was no insider. You want to uh, support my personal mission to Geneva? Act like they got it inside, like they, they just penalize the Israeli Air Force and be like, well, Islam's a real religion. It's not. If you even knew what Islam was, you would know that they do that. 
you're not going to penalize the Israeli Air Force for something they didn't do based on the presumption that, like, is Islam does it. Islam's not even a real religion. Geneva wants us to sail around the world to prove it's flat. You become over-reliant upon... You, you're accustomed to this idea you eventually get whatever, you know... I ain't paying for that. You know, Walmart... Invoice me. I know a Jew has to uh, recite Torah for their bar mitzvah before they can be contractually obligated, and that's a good... We are losing a holy war on multiple fronts, and, and you want to act all anti-Semitic, like... No, wait, I mean, we'll definitely take a real juke at this point. The Maccabees didn't like Alexander the Great. But Judas Maccabeus survived Alexander the Great. Where would the Maccabees be without Alexander the Great? Right, well, that's better than the reasoning we're being given now. Like, what happens when we run out of LeBlanc is to trade for the eternal, rational authority of Washington. Right, so there's a gay mafia abridging freedom of the press with a police casino. And and then, I mean, first do no harm, you're not a doctor. Corporate prisons are illegal in any democracy. You got the Privacy Act running a child sex police casino. Shanksville, PA, they're, they're looking for a guy, some guy, Islam. Thinks God is some guy we're looking for. It's a witch hunt. For those with eyes to see, you can't knock down three towers with two planes and a paper fire and then talk about there was a plane crash at Shanksville, PA. Friends of Shanksville. I got your Shanksville, Pa. Do you see a goddamn plane? Right, so now, now you got idiot cops like chuckling and grabbing each other's asses while the gay mafia throws their hands up in the air. Oh, running in circles, bumping into each other. We need the Jews.